I went out and got the cheapest laptop at my local Best Buy, and it is a $330 Canadian laptop. So that comes into about $245 US. And this is an actual laptop, not a Chromebook. So it's not running Chrome OS, it's running Windows 11. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's talk about some of the specs of this laptop. So what are you getting for a price of $245? You are getting a Intel N100 four core, four thread Alder Lake CPU with a technically a max boost of 3.4 gigahertz, but over here out of the box, it is running at 800 megahertz, 0.81 gigahertz. You're also getting eight gigabytes of RAM and it is so dim, which is good. So it is technically expandable. So you do have that. It has a 256 gig SSD which you know what is completely fine for a laptop at this price. The performance, it doesn't have the specs to be able to run any sort of 3D modeling. The fans are pretty loud right now. What could you expect from this laptop? So on this side over here, you have the charging port and you have one USB-A port. And then on the other side over here, you'll actually have a bit more connectivity. So you will have another USB-A port, a USB-C port, a headphone jack, and an HDMI port. So at least you do have one USB-C jack. Battery life, it's eight to 10 hours of battery life. And to be honest, that's pretty much what I got my first testing run with it. What could you really expect when you're spending $245 on an actual laptop and not even a Chromebook at this point? So, you know, you're actually getting a laptop with Windows 11, you're not running Chrome OS, you're getting an actual computer. So don't complain about anything with this laptop. At the price you're paying, you can't really complain about it. Don't expect anything and don't complain about it. First off, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, please make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So what can we say about this laptop in general? A couple of things that I do want to talk about. So I will say while the build quality is durable in a sense with a plastic chassis you're not getting any premium components i will say for the price the laptop does not look as bad as i thought it would so it is the hp 14 which means it is a 14 inch display now the display as you can tell from the camera does not look that premium because it is a running a resolution of 1366 by 768 so just over that fine line to be considered standard HD, not even full HD, so not even 1080p, a little over 720p, which makes it a bit better than just base HD. Now, it also has six bit color, so not even eight bit color, so don't expect fantastic color accuracy, entry level, super budget laptop. Now, this is not a gaming laptop whatsoever. It does run Intel UHD graphics, and although it's not a gaming laptop, I had to test it out and see what we could do. If you plan on only using maybe some 2D side scrolling games like Cuphead, Dead Cells, uh, maybe some emulators you should be fine you will be able to run the games at that 60 fps considering that it's only at 768p resolution as well it's not as taxing as you would think you know it's not even running at 1080p but i did want to test it out and see if it could even handle a 3d game so obviously when we did test the games i tested a few if you're going to run something a bit more graphically intensive make sure that it's pretty easy to run and fairly old so one of my favorite games of all time is portal 2 and i was actually able to run it fairly well 60 fps you know, with a couple of settings tweaked here and there, but it was able to run and play completely fine. However, when you get it to something a bit more graphically demanding, like Doom from 2016, that's when we run into issues. Um, low settings, hey, you know what? First off, kudos to this laptop. It was able to launch the game. But once we got into the game, I had to lower the settings. First of all, the resolution had to go down to 720p, obviously all the lowest settings possible. And then we had to dumb down the resolution scale from 720p 50%. So effectively, you're running it at 360p on a 14 inch laptop. And that's when we were able to get it to run at about 30 FPS. So is the game pretty to look at? No. Is it fun to play? I mean, it's Doom, so it's a great game and it is playable at 30 FPS. But visually, it doesn't look that great at 360 at 360p low settings. It does not look like the best game, but it is playable. So I guess check the box on that. This laptop could technically play some games. Not all games, not most games, not the games you might want to play, but it does play some games. But hey, a game like Cuphead, fantastic game. Dead Cells, great game. Portal 2, beautiful game. So those three right there, to be able to play on this system at $245, that's a big W in my book. In terms of basic use of the laptop, the keyboard is not very satisfying. The touchpad kind of keyboard and touchpad, not the greatest. It kind of bends the chassis when you're using it too much. So in terms of speakers, it has them. You are getting a camera and it is 720p and here is a quick test with the camera and the microphone that you could expect. Now, one thing I would say 720p for this camera. Okay. I mean, it's about the same resolution as the screen itself. So don't expect to get a 
full HD 1080p camera if the screen of the laptop is only 768p. Okay, so this is testing the camera that comes on the HP laptop and it is, it's a 720p camera. And to be honest, that's not the best, but at this price point also, can you really complain? So do I recommend this laptop? Well, that really depends. My answer is no, I do not recommend this laptop unless of course you are on a very, very strict budget of $250 and you really want to buy new. I would still recommend at that price, maybe looking at the used market and getting yourself a little better spec system from last year or a few years ago. It's going to just be better in the long run. But if you absolutely want to buy new and you only have the money for this laptop and you don't want to get a powered powerful chromebook and you want to get a laptop maybe watching a bit of youtube netflix maybe using it as a just a word processing i don't know sure yeah you could definitely use a laptop like this if it's going to be very bare bones for your your house it won't break the bank it has a pretty decent look so if you guys did enjoy this review please make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and i will catch you guys next time